it's so nerve wracking when it's counting down for the recording to start because since we're live, I don't want to start wrong. It's like walking out to perform on the Oscars or something in front of pretty much people live. No, no, it's like walking into a test and not knowing any of the answers and yeah that's true because you just don't know what to do it's not like we rehearsed what we were gonna do yeah yeah or it would be like if you were in a show and they just they didn't give you the script and they just said go out and do it (laughs) that's like improv yeah okay so it's like yeah okay see i'm already messing up yeah that was awkward sorry it's okay it's also- I was gonna say it was like SNL, but it's not because that's not improv. Nope. This is really hard doing it live because if you haven't noticed yet, we talk over each other constantly, and that doesn't sound good in the microphones. But usually, I can cut it out. So my OCD brain is like, ping, 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 ping. Yeah, but I don't think it's a problem actually when we talk over each other. But it sounds bad because you can't understand what either of us are saying. Oh, okay. So, okay, well, oh, we're not saying okay. I may. <laughs> Except not really. We are on day three of our, what are we calling, 21-day challenges. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have to cough. Oh, no. <coughs> what will we do? Just didn't want to do it while you're talking and then you get mad at me. That's okay. We are on day 21. No, we're on day three. <laughs> of oh, that went fast. Yeah. Of our countdown to 21 where we are doing challenges every day and whoever wins the most of the 21 challenges gets to pick the other one's first drink. Yeah. So we are currently one-to-one tied. That's why we're doing 21, so it can't be a tie. Yeah. I mean, also because it's our 21st birthday, so that's why it makes that's sense. That's the main reason. That is the main reason, but it works because there can't be a tie. And when there can be a tie, it's usually a tie. Like, I pretty much guarantee that it's going to be 10 to 11. I don't know. Today's challenge is guess the other person's dream birthday cake. So what we did is we had like five questions that we had to write out our dream birthday cake. And then we're going to guess what the other person says. And (coughs) oh, Ashley's coughing again. She's been sick for like 500 years. No, I'm not sick at all anymore. I just have a cough. Yeah, that we have to listen to all night. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. At least you don't have to do it all night. I know. I was kidding. Ashley, as per Ashley's request, we're going to do, like, she guesses the flavor of my cake, and then I'll tell her what it was. So then, like, the frosting, she can guess based on that. Yes. So we will go one question at a time. I also have to say, though, this seems like it shouldn't have been that hard. And if you don't listen to our normal podcast, then you don't know this, but hopefully you do. And we have a whole segment called Overthinkers Anonymous. Which is because we are huge overthinkers. So it took me like 30 minutes to answer these five questions about my dream birthday cake because I was like, well, like my favorite whatever filling I would want and the cake flavor and they just aren't necessarily cohesive. And so I was just really struggling with that. So yeah, um, it was very stressful. I also wrote down second choice options. So I told Ashley she could have half a point if she gets those. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness, me too. I really have no idea what I'm going to say for you. Okay, so should we go one at a time or should we like both guess the cake flavor and then go to the next question? Um, Let's do it that way. Okay. What I have two ideas, two things I think you said for your cake flavor, and I don't know. What if you get both of the ones <laughs> I wrote down? Maybe. Then I get two points. Yeah. Okay, do you want me to guess? Sure. Okay, I said um, either lemon cake or gingerbread cake. Ooh, because gingerbread cake is a good option, but that's not what I said. Neither of those? No. What? My, the one that I'm going off of is a white cake. Oh, just plain white? Yeah. Oh. Because I was 
thinking angel food cake, but the last angel food cake that I just had was like way, way, way too sweet. And I didn't like it that much. I mean, it was like good, but I, it wasn't like my dream cake. So then I said white cake to go with, I don't know. Oh, um, was your other one banana cake? No. Was it pumpkin cake? No. Okay, what was it? Funfetti. Oh. Because I'm, I used to not like birthday cake flavored things, but lately I'm obsessed with anything birthday cake flavored, like birthday cake ice cream and we got this birthday cake granola that I ate the whole bag in like 12 hours. I can't and believe I didn't even, I had four guesses and I didn't even get. But those are actually all good ones. Like you probably just know me better than I know myself yeah. because I love banana cake. And Cause honestly, do you think you would pick one of those? Like you're not necessarily just a plain white cake type of person. Gingerbread and pumpkin cake are good. But I guess I was thinking like, birthday cake and there's all these other things yeah. so i don't know no that's that's true i would probably have a some kind of trifle instead of a cake mm. if i'm being honest yeah. okay okay but you're going with white cake yes okay. okay mine is easy i think you said betty crocker gluten-free chocolate cake yes that is exactly what i said that's yes. the one that I was confident in. Yeah. The rest are a little it's iffy, easy, but. I say that all the time. That's Ashley's favorite <coughs> cake flavor. She's not gluten-free. It's just really, really good cake. Yeah, for some reason. The Betty Crocker cake mix box, that's gluten-free. So good. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, like, I want to be more of a cake person than I am. Like, I like cake, but I just would prefer a lot of other desserts. But every, like, I always see cake and think I want cake. But I love that cake. Yeah. It's, like, really moist. It's just, like, the perfect texture, and it's, like, the right balance of, like, sweet and not too sweet and just so good. I think that's why I like banana cake, because it's a really good texture, and it's, like, it's more, like, banana bready. It's not mm -hmm. super overly sweet. Yeah. Okay. You got that. You got one point. Woo! Good job. Okay, what kind of filling do you think I said? <coughs> Sorry. I think you said lemon filling. Yeah, I said lemon curd. Lemon curd. That's I was going to say that, then I didn't know if you had said some other kind of lemon thing, mm. but it still counts. Yeah. <laughs> I think you, okay, I think you said some kind of ice cream. And I don't know if it is cookies and cream or mint chocolate chip or it might be frozen yogurt but probably one of those varieties or there's a different kind of ice cream that's your new favorite that I can't think of but I'm gonna say you said cookies and cream ice cream so close I said frozen yogurt just you just said no, cookies and cream frozen yogurt. oh that's kind of what i meant okay, like well <laughs> yeah that still counts but i thought that one would be kind of easy too because that's what i've wanted the past few years yeah but i didn't know because i always make it like make the homemade frozen yogurt and i feel like it is not as good as it could be so i didn't know if you if like your dream cake would actually have that kind of weird like rock hard frozen yogurt or if it would have like real ice cream oh no i think i would have that <laughs> she's coughing again sorry. sorry okay for frosting i think you said that vanilla pudding frosting that you really liked like with the cool whip yeah yeah i said vanilla pudding slash cool whip um it's basically just vanilla pudding mix and cool whip and i think milk and then you mix it all together so good yeah okay i either think you said the chocolate version of that or that chocolate greek yogurt mousse frosting or you also like canned frosting now so um it's none of those you're no i mean <laughs> i was just laughing that you said three options hmm hmm hmm, hmm. I don't think it's canned frosting. I think it's either the mousse or the pudding frosting. But since you're having frozen yogurt in it, 
I'm going to guess you said chocolate cola pudding frosting. I said seven minute frosting. Really? On an ice cream cake? I don't know. I couldn't really think of anything. Like, I, I couldn't think of what frosting I wanted. But I don't think <coughs> that would that would not go well in the freezer. I guess it probably wouldn't. So that's not a good idea. But that's probably my favorite kind of frosting. So I mean, that I maybe want to just like put it on, like take a slice and then put it on. Okay. That was the dilemma I was having when I was writing down my choices because things didn't really go cohesively together. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. That doesn't really go, but I don't know. That's okay. But I feel like if it's a since it's a chocolate cake, I would have if I had like the cool frosting, I would do the vanilla, not chocolate. Mm, okay, good to know. Okay. What shape is your cake? Oh, I skipped that one. Oh. What do you think my oh, yeah. cake You're shape is? <laughs> I think it is Cinderella's castle. Oh, no. <clears throat> You're just saying next. You don't want me to get the point. You didn't think of it beforehand. No, I have it written down right here. Oh, I will show you. You said, oh, gotcha. I just meant I forgot to ask that oh. one. Okay, then I think it was something Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I just said Winnie the Pooh. Oh. Um, this one I don't know for you. I think you said um I don't know. I'm gonna get this wrong. Yeah, you probably are. No offense. Uh Mickey Mouse. I said you know how on Pinterest they have those cakes that are like shaped like a merry-go-round? I think those Aww, are so cute. That's so cute. That's a really good idea. I love those. Oh, that's been nice. I mean, I also couldn't really think of the shape, but that's what I said. No, that's cute. <coughs> okay, so oh we're ours. Yeah, stop coughing. At least stop that. coughing in the microphone. Uh, how many layers? Yeah, but at what points are we at? Oh, um, you got the sh cake and the filling. So you got two. Mm -hmm. I got... You got the filling, the filling and the frosting. Okay, so we both have two. Okay. Um, layers. I think you said two. Yeah, because I didn't know. I mean, if it's a Winnie the Pooh shaped cake, you can't really have layers, but yeah. since it has to have filling, I think you also said two. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. I was tempted to not say that so we would be different, but I was pretty sure that's what you said. This is getting so long. I hope people aren't bored. I know. We'll speed through the rest because okay. we have to go anyways. Yeah. Color. What do you think I said? I think you said pink. I think you said pink. I did say pink. I said pink also. Oh, yay. Because her favorite color is supposed to be purple, but she argues against that and has stolen my favorite color of pink. Because when we were little, Aspen assigned me that my favorite color was purple. That is a myth that did not happen. We both agreed. So I guess if your cake is Winnie the Pooh shapes, then it would probably be yellow. I know I thought that, but I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, well. <coughs> Goodness. I'm sorry. I can't help I'm it. I'm just kidding. I just feel bad for our poor listeners. I have to just keep listening. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why they like me better. I get an extra point. No, they probably think you're being so mean to your poor, sick little sister. I'm just being funny. Yes, just I'm laughing so hard. Almost 21 years old, and she still can't take a joke. Okay. She, she just made a really mean face. You should watch the YouTube if you are just listening. Okay, anyway, types of candles. I think you said... I have no idea. Um, the confetti ones. I said sparklers, like the ones that look like fire. Uh -oh. They make like firework little sparkly things. Um, I think you said. Um, like the poppers. I also said sparklers. Really? But I didn't guess that for you because I just, I don't know. I didn't imagine that you would have thought of that. Oh, I didn't imagine you would have thought of that. Wow. Great minds think yeah. alike. We should get points for the things we had the same answer for. Yeah. What are we going to do if we tie on this one? 
Um, we'll figure it yeah. out. Okay, what what do you think I said for my topping slash decorations? Okay, I think you said sprinkles. What kind? Rainbow. Yeah. And I didn't write down an answer for the other one. What else do you want for the decorations? Um, I think you wanted, um, well, since it was a Winnie the Pooh cake, maybe like Winnie the Pooh characters. <laughs> I guess you can have that. I said cookies shaped like honey pots or other characters. I didn't oh. expect you to get the, the like shapes, but just. I didn't really know what to say for the other toppings. And my third option, if it would have been like my second choice cake, then I said yellow M&M's. Oh, cute. Okay, I'm not going to get this, so you're going to win. But I think you also said rainbow sprinkles. I just said sprinkles, but yeah, oh. they'd probably be rainbow. Okay. And, well, you, well, if it's a merry-go-round cake, then probably animal crackers. Or like animal shaped cookies. But I don't know if I should say that because I also think you might have had mini ice cream cones. Um, like with little scoops of ice cream, different flavors. But I'm, or if it has Oreo filling, then maybe you had Oreos on top. But I'm gonna say animal cookies that was a good guess because yes they would probably be on there yeah so i think i get the point <laughs> no because that just is inherent in the cake shape so i didn't put that i was trying to make it easy um, oh so i actually said mini m&ms as my oh, other one um that's silly but the, the uh, mini ice cream cones is a good idea too i probably would do that Okay, so I get an extra point because I know you well. No. <laughs> Fine, you I guess. You get half a point for that, but I got a full point, so I win. Great. Okay, it's two to one. Or we can make it a tie, but then we don't have an odd number of No, I know. <laughs> Ashley has to win. Shoot. hate when that happens. It's going to be like that. Like, it's going to be Ashley, then Aspen, then Ashley, then Aspen, but then you're going to get the 11 i don't know i could win again tomorrow yeah or i could win two days in a row yeah well listen back to see what happens Ooh, the suspense the suspense Ooh. make sure you subscribe and follow so you don't miss yeah. who wins tell us in the comments below what your dream birthday cake would be thanks yeah. for listening bye, bye.